welcome back my faithful viewers and here we are another video so as you can see we got a nice popping popping <laughs> a nice piping hot bowl of chili oh my god my favorite uh, it's either this or uh, beef stew not beef stew hot roast hot roast beef stew doesn't matter it's all delicious <laughs> but in a quick Pinch chili. Oh god, this is chili season. Chili season. Okay, so as you could tell by the title, I am doing the challenge of Ball Till You Fall Challenge by Debo Vibes and Scrub the Grub. And if you're not watching those two, what rock are you living under? Now I was actually called out on this challenge by Gay Lives Matter. But just before that happened, I was watching Tay Eats and she was doing this challenge and I was thinking, I got to do that. I don't care I'm called out or not, I've got to do that. And then, uh, well, as you, some of you may know, we had a death in the family, so all challenges just went out the window. Um, I kind of detached from everybody, if you noticed that, or if you didn't, yeah. Um, but then again, if you ever have a death in the family, you know you're going to get detached. And uh, what made Tay Eats, I don't know what it is about that video, or it gave me a kick in the pants. It was like, come on, going to living again, you know. Um, so, Tate, I want to thank you for the inspiration. Just her whole bubbliness and her happiness was like, I don't know what, was, you, you have no explanation. It was, she hit the mark. She hit the mark. I don't know what it was, but she inspired me to come back and do this stuff. So, baby, this one's for you. Thank you for the good vibes. And so, oh, this feels so warm. <laughs> oh, it's so warm. I wish you could. You know what? I'm getting uncomfortable with my food. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so low to the ground. It ain't funny. How about if I, oh, 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 I don't mind holding it. Now, I put a little bit of uh, tortillas onto this to absorb all the juices and stuff. Some people put rice. Uh, some people put crackers. I put tor corn tortillas. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. That's not bad. Mm. Some of you, if you get that on my Instagram, I can uh, my chili sauce. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Everything in here. Oh, I didn't grow the cow, <laughs> and I didn't make the corn tortillas, but everything in that sauce I grew, and so I made the sauce, and well, I need this over here, sorry guys, <laughs> so this is really, really good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> mm. Mm. You know what I noticed? It doesn't taste as salty as the stuff you get in a can. I mean, there's salt in it because of the chips. But this is really good. Mmm. 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 That is really good. I'm making canned chili. Uh-uh. Mmm. I'm canning this sauce. Oh, yeah. Mmm. It's not hardly salty at all. Mm. 
Mm. Oh yeah, this is good. If you have high blood pressure, I need that piece right there. Hang on. Mmm. 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 Mm hmm. Mm. Don't use that can't chili really sauce no more. Mm mm. Mm. Don't use that. This stuff is way better. And it's tastier. And I can pronounce what's in it. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, it's good. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. All right, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Mm hmm. I'm only sad I only have nine kids left. <laughs> no. Now I know when I start growing tomatoes next year. I need to have enough cans for six months. And that's good. <laughs> anyway. What I like best about fall. The air. The air changes. Mm-hmm. Mm. I could go out in my garden. And I would say the third or fourth week in August, I could smell a difference in the air. It, it, it's that crispness that you get that 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 fresh that that brisk you know that that feeling you know it, it's cool it's it's not so it's not that beat you down to the ground heat it's warm enough that you could go outside and not get all frozen but it's not gonna melt you to the pavement either Goldilocks weather. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god, the smell of the air, the breeze on your face, the taste of the first batch of apples that you pick. Oh, that, that sweet taste. Oh, oh, that sweet taste from those first apples that just get picked off the tree. There's nothing best. That first batch, that, that, that's the top batch. After that, it's all downhill, but that first batch of apples. The third, second, no, the third or fourth week of August, the air changes. Excuse me, the apples start ripening. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Of course, the only thing my wife thinks about is football. Yeah, she is a football fan. It doesn't matter the game either. Oh, she has her team. Mm-hmm. The hunting not playing? You'll watch the game. I'm just along for the ride. I'm like, I like the color of the uniforms. <laughs> now, mm, now when I was in high school, not high school, college, Mm. The wood. When I was in college, I was a big basketball fan. The we have both basketball teams and that and football teams. But I just understood the basketball team better. Which is really funny. Because with most of those boys, I only got up to their belly buttons. <laughs> it was like, hello up there, hi. <laughs> mm. 
But anyway, we would go to the games. And when it was my first year in, in college. And we all piled in the van because we were following the bus that took everyone to the to the basketball team somewhere else. What did we play against? Oh yeah. We played against the um, Coffeeville Dev Devils. Uh, I think it was them. Anyway, yeah, Coffeeville. <laughs> what was it, Cherryville? It was one of those bills. It was over 20 years ago. No one asked. Oh, I just bled it. Well, I was an unconventional student. <laughs> I went around. I, I left. Oh, God. When you graduate high school, go straight into college. Don't put that off because you put that off by the time you get around to going back. Oh, Lord, you old. <laughs> I think I was one. I wasn't the oldest student on campus, but I was what they call an unconventional student. Anyway. So first year in college, so we all get in the van, we're following the basketball team to the away game. We get there, and lo and behold, the baseball team is there. They got Gatorade bottles, and there's not Gatorade in them bottles. I think half of them were pretty strong. I mean, you could smell in their breath. I was like, you're not going to hide that. And the coach was here. Anyway, I veer off, of course. <laughs> in the middle of the game, uh, one of the players from the rival team the, decided that they were going to clothesline one of our boys. I mean, he just put his hand straight out like that. You knew he was going to clothesline him. Made no bones about it. Our guy, he was like perpendicular to the floor. I'm thinking that body should not move that way. No. A scrimmage happened. The coaches broke it up. The game went on. We won. As minute the the that final bell went off and the game was, you know, declared. For some reason, the people that brought us there was like, okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. So we went out the side door. When we went out the side door, we had to go front uh, past the front double doors. And when you looked into that arena, oh dear God, it was, yeah, our, our side wanted revenge, yeah. So we were shuffled off because we were the freshman group. And I was like, I don't want nothing to do with this. I don't want nothing. Mm. So, but anyway, I was on the, I was definitely a basketball fan back then. And of course, back then I would be running up and now on the court with them. <laughs> oh my god, I must have looked like an old age fool, but I had fun. <laughs> but yeah, if I had to pick one, I'd pick basketball only because I understand it better. And I could run up and down the, the court with them. You can't do that with football. Well, you could, but it's like, mm, you know, them, them guys go everywhere and then they fall on little old me. I'm only 4'11", now. I may be, I may not be, you know, I may be wide, but I'm not that tall. And <laughs> I'm inside, I don't understand it. I understand rugby way better than I understand football. Go figure. At least they're polite about it. They have tries. <laughs> they have ask and try. Oh, look. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you enjoy my, my college day story. Thank you, Devo, and uh, Scrub the Ground for making a fabulous challenge. I loved it, and we'll be finishing that. Um, thank you, Tay East, for the inspiration to get back in the game and enjoy these, these making these videos again. And thank you for Black Life Monthly. Gay Live Matter. Oh, God. <laughs> thank you, Gay Live Matter, for calling me out and challenging me and understanding it was going to take me a little time to get around to doing this, but I'm glad I got around to doing it and I had a lot of fun. 
That's the whole point of doing YouTube. To have fun. If you're not having fun, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> anyway, till next time, guys. We're going to hope for the best. We're going to prepare for the worst. But I guarantee you, we're all going to somewhere in the middle. So, till next time. Bye. Woo After the show is over, um, I was supposed to call out three people. Uh, I'm calling out Tag for short, Big Belly Bob, and Motivation Big Guy as the three people that we are supposed to tag. I'm sorry, guys. I made a mistake. Um, if at the time of recording and then when I checked, these three people did not do it. If you did, thank you. If you want to do it again, hey, just another plate of food. You get to eat and talk about your favorite sport. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys and you have a great night. Bye.